Okay, so last year we worked in Dodoma in three villages in Dodoma. And uh, when we were working in those villages, we discovered three things. One is that there's only one extension officer in the whole village. The second thing is that the farmers were coming to us to ask about the good agricultural, pro I mean, good ag agricultural practices to us. That means they lack some skills. Then also, there were also, uh, from the data, the survey data that we collected, we were able to realize that the productivity is very low, as low as only four bags in one hectare for maize. And the other thing is that we've realized that our population is doubling. That means we need to double our production. So my team and I came together and put up a solution for this. And our solution is to do e-extension. The way we do it is one, first we profile farmer to know where the farmer is, where are they farming, and what are they farming. And then also we use drones, which we use to attach an agriculture sensor. And in this sensor, we are able to tell what is the health of the crops while they are on the farm. This is part of the, this is a platform, the Jembe platform. What you're seeing in the blue colors, these are villages that we've worked on. Uh, the three villages, Mapango, Chandama, and Mrijo. When you zoom in into a platform, you are able to see where the farmer is and you get the content of where they are. So this is the platform that extension officers can use. And the technology that we're talking about, which is the sensor technology, uh, is able to show you two things. One is the visible spectrum, what you can see with your eyes when you're on the farm, even if you're an extension officer. But also the invisible spectrum, this is part that you will not be able to see, but with the help of the technology, you are able to collect that information, analyze, and be able to advise the farmer. So from the images that we collect, is something that like that on the right-hand side, in which you are able to tell which, which areas are doing well and which areas are for priority for the extension farmer. Uh, we want, we, our target is to work in the value chain, starting with the farmers, but then those who are working with the farmers, like off-takers and input suppliers. We have a team of agronomists, drone pilots, data scientists, We've worked, uh, we've put together a proposal at Tanzania Agricultural Research Institute, but we're also talking uh, to other major associations for farmers to work with them in the e-extensions. Compared to our competitors, we give uh, informed uh, advice because we know what is happening on the farm and we give the information to the farmer to act accordingly. And this is our ask, thank you. Thank you very much. Any questions from the judges? Yeah, sure. My question will be, uh, uh, what's your business model? How do you price your services? Our current business model is $8 per hectare. But we are now using, because that's the drone business model that we are, we, are, we are charging the farmer. So we are working with the farmer, but most of our, our, of our customers has been research institutes. So the research institutes are coming to us and asking us to collect data for them. Now, with the Jembe platform, we want to reach out to the farmers who we know that they're not able to pay for, their, for those services. So instead um, of charging the farmer, we want to charge the other service providers. We've heard about the insurers uh, who have just launched an insurance. So instead of them going to the farm and do monitoring, we offer this data to them and they pay for the services and we deliver the extension services to the, to the farmer. So we don't charge the farmer, but we charge the, the, the other value chain providers, yes.